In this video, you will learn how to align scans, define gingiva, and the mandibular nerve with Three Shape Implant Studio. Once the panoramic curve has been set, you can proceed to the scan alignment step. Here you will see the two CT scans with the radio opaque markers. The initial detection of the radio opaque markers is done automatically by the software. Keep in mind that the same number of markers should be detected on both scans and their position should coincide. To correct the defined markers, you can remove a marker or place a new one. To do that, simply left click on any marker to turn it off and you will see that it is removed. Simply click again or on any unidentified marker to turn it on and you will see it appear. A circle on the one scan shows the position of a corresponding marker on the other scan. Use the threshold slider under each scan to adjust the CT visibility. Click the bin icon to clear all the markers. To lock the scans and move them simultaneously, click the lock icon. The alignment error will be calculated automatically. If you are satisfied with the alignment, proceed to the confirmation sub-step. Confirm the alignment by putting a check mark. Click Next to proceed to the gingiva detection step. At the gingiva detection step, the gingiva surface of the denture is detected automatically. However, it can be adjusted manually. Click the Add button to mark the gingival area on the denture. It will become green. Change the radius of the marking tool by holding Shift and scrolling the mouse wheel up to enlarge or down to decrease. To edit the marked area, click the Remove button to deselect it partially. Click the Clear Selection button to remove the whole selection. Use the Undo and Redo buttons to cancel or restore the last action respectively at any step. You can always enforce automatic gingiva detection with automatic selection. Click Next to move to the next step. At the nerve definition step, you have to define the position of the mandibular nerve canal. In our example, we will only show the right nerve canal definition. Remember that for the left nerve canal, the same action should be performed. In the panoramic view, drag the blue plane sideways to move along the scan and find the best position to view the mental foramen. After finding the mental foramen, left-click on it in the orthogonal or tangential view to start defining the nerve. To move through the scan, move the cursor over the view and scroll the mouse wheel while pressing down control. To change the position of the nerve, move the cursor over it until it turns blue and drag it into the desired position. Click Clear Nerve to remove the nerve. To change the diameter of the nerve canal, move the cursor over the orthogonal or tangential view. Scroll the mouse wheel while holding down Shift. When the right side nerve canal is defined, you can proceed to the left side. Once the nerves are defined, click Next to proceed to Implant Planning. See our next video, How to Perform Implant Planning, to learn more. Thank you for watching.